In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create event pages to sell tickets without ticketing fees using Stripe for payment processing. So hey, my name's Andy. I'm one of the co-founders of Checkout Page. Checkout Page is a custom checkout event and form page builder that uses Stripe for payment processing. I'm going to break everything down into six simple steps and everything I show you is going to be point and click. You don't need to know how to code. All you'll need is a Checkout Page account and a Stripe account. And the best part is that you won't pay fees per ticket sale. You'll pay a flat monthly subscription plus Stripe's card processing charges. But I'm going to show you how you can use our fees feature to pass those costs onto your guests and effectively make selling tickets free. Okay, so let's jump over to the app and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own event pages. All right, we're inside checkout page and the first step to creating a new event is to create a new page. So let's go to the top right and click create page and we'll choose an event. And in this view, I can add some details about my event. So I'm going to give my event the name of example event and the start date of this Friday coming. And for now, I'll leave the end date blank. Next, let's choose how people will attend our event. Is that going to be in person or virtual? I'll leave that as in person and add a location, let's say Madison Square Garden. Optionally, I can add a map link, say a Google Maps link, and that's really helpful for your guests to find your event. The maximum capacity is the maximum number of tickets you can sell across all ticket types before your event is sold out. So let's add 300, which means I can sell a maximum of 300 tickets and I won't oversell my event. Lastly, in this view, I can choose the currency that I'll sell my ticket types in, and I'm going to leave this at USD, but you can select from a whole range of major currencies to sell your ticket types in. Okay, great. So when you're happy with your event details, we're going to click continue to go on to create some ticket types for our event. Okay, great. So we're in the second step where we can add some ticket types to our event. And remember, you can add as many different ticket types as you want to your event. I'm going to add two ticket types to my event. The first one is going to be for an early bed ticket, and with each ticket type, I can choose between that being paid or free. I'm going to leave that as being paid and set a price of $29 down from $59 and I'm going to add an available quantity of 50. And this means that I can sell a maximum of 50 early bird tickets before this ticket type is sold out. I'm going to add my second type and that's going to be a general admission ticket and that's going to have a price of $129 down from $159. And this time I'm not going to set an available quantity but instead this ticket type is going to draw from the 300 I set in the max capacity from the previous step. Okay, so in addition to these settings, I can also add an image to a ticket type. And if I click on more just here, there's a whole bunch of extra features that I can explore. I'm gonna click save. My ticket types are looking great. And I'm gonna click continue to carry on customizing my event. Okay, great. We're on to our third step. Where we start to customize the look and feel of our event page. And the first choice we get to make here is how we're gonna use our page. Are we gonna use it as a hosted page or are we gonna add it directly to our website. If we choose a hosted page, I can choose between a number of different layouts. And if I want to add the event page to my website, I can embed it directly on the page or I can have it as a pop-up. I'm going to choose a hosted page and the center align layout, and I'm going to click create event to continue customizing my event. Okay, great. So now we're in the edit view where you can customize many things about your event page. And on the right hand side here, you'll see a preview of the event you've just created. If we click on this open preview icon up here, that will open the hosted event page in a new tab. And if you wanted to, you could already share this event page with the world and start selling event tickets. For example, let me select an early bird ticket and a general admission ticket and add my details here. And if I added my card details and click get ticket, I'd already be buying two tickets. But for now, I'm going to close this tab and we're going to explore some of the many ways in which you can customize your event page. Okay, great. So let's make some changes to our event page. And the first change I'm going to make is adding some description text. So let's go over to the left here and click on description and I'll say event info goes here and you'll see that on the right hand side our changes are updated in the preview. So let's add an image to our event page and I'll click on image gallery and then upload images and I'll choose an image from my laptop and again you'll see that the image is updated. So let's go up to checkout and then field and you'll see that right now I'm collecting a name and an email address and I'm going to add a new custom field to collect the phone number. I'll select phone and then save. And this phone field has been added uh, to the event page. And I can drag and drop the order of these fields in any way I need them. And I can also add as many different custom fields as I want. Let's quickly add a discount code so that our 
guests can add a coupon code here and that's been added next we'll go over to design and layout and here you can see the different layouts that you can choose from right now i'm using the central line layout and let's see what the page looks like with the double uh, column layout and you can see that this layout is really great if you have a lot more information on the left hand side here now lastly i'm just going to change one of the colors so i'll change the button color from this orange color to say a kind of purple blue color and we'll see that the, the button color was updated and let's again open the preview and you can see that in just a couple of clicks you can customize the look and feel of your event page to make your event feel like your own okay great we're back in the edit view and in this fourth step i'm going to show you how easy it is to add a booking fee to your event page let's go up to checkout and then fees and surcharges and this is where we add our fees and remember that you can add as many different fees as you want to your event page so i'm going to add a booking fee and i can choose between a fixed amount or a percentage amount i'm going to leave that on fixed and add a three dollar fee and i'll check multiply by tickets and that means this will add a three dollar fee for every ticket selected. If I wanted to, I could also apply this just to a specific payment method. But for now, I'm gonna leave that and we'll see that the preview is updated. Let's open the hosted uh, event page again. I'll select uh, one of the early bed tickets, one of the general admission tickets, and we'll see that that $3 fee per ticket type has been added to the checkout. Okay, great, we're on to our fifth step and we're gonna look at how you can use ticket groups to organize related ticket type. Let's go to ticket types, add a new group, and we'll call that VIP ticket, and we'll click continue. And this is gonna add a new ticket group to your event page with its own ticket type. Let's add a new ticket type, call that a VIP early bed, and let's say the price is uh, 79 down from 129. And I'll add an available quantity of 50, which means again, I can sell a maximum of 50 vip early bed tickets before that ticket type is sold out and now you can see that our event page has two ticket groups each with their own ticket types and in addition to that each ticket group can have its own settings and layout okay great we're on to our sixth and final step which is sharing and embedding your event page. So when you're happy with your event page and it's time to start selling event tickets, come to the top right here and click on share and embed. And here you'll always find a link to your hosted event page. And you can share this link with anyone in the world. Let's close this tab for now. If you want to embed the event page directly on your website, click on embed and custom website in here, you can copy the embed code. All right, so you've made it for all six steps and now you know how to create your own event pages and start selling tickets online. And remember, we don't charge fees per ticket sale. You'll pay a flat monthly subscription plus Stripe's card processing charges. But if you use our fees feature, you can pass the cost of selling tickets onto your guests and effectively make selling tickets free. If you have more questions about how to set things up and create your own pages, please just reach out. We're super easy to get in touch with and our customers say they love our support. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.